Good morning and welcome to my channel. I am Holly Hughes. I'm an intuitive healer and an author. And today I'm coming to you live from Orlando, Florida at FinCon Expo 22. FinCon is a financial expert place. It's like all these people who help you get out of debt, who help you grow your wealth are here. So what am I doing here? What is this woman who's all woo-woo about spirituality, about healing your heart so the pain from your past stops limiting your future? Why am I here? Two, three, at least three reasons. One is my amazing friend Bernadette Joy is speaking and invited me. And I believe life throws you invitations that you might not have ever imagined. And I said, yes. First, I wanna support her because she's amazing. Second of all, um, why not? I, I'm hungry always to learn something new. The second thing I've figured out is as I grow and expand my business in wanting to help you heal, I had to find new ways to reach you. A lot of you know me on Instagram, but maybe not so much here, and it's time for that to change. The last thing, and this is the thing that really surprised me the most, is you know what everyone here has in common with me? They knew they were unhappy with something in their life, and they're doing the work and taking the steps to change it. I sat on a panel and I sat in on a panel and listened to um, Stock Mo, both the Mr. and the Mrs., and Larry Jones. And then by accident and happenstance, I ran into them a few times after. And I really love their messages. Their messages, while they share their story, is I knew I was unhappy working for someone else, I knew I was burned out, I knew I was dissatisfied. So in my terms, what they knew wasn't working for them. So instead of perpetuating their unhappiness, they were brave enough to put in the work to change. That's what I'm telling people all the time. When you know yourself, when you K-N-O-W yourself, you can say no to all the things that aren't aligned with who you are and how you wanna be in the world. And the really beautiful thing about that, you ready, is you can make a choice that fits your life in your 20s, but make a new choice in your 30s and another choice in your 40s, 50s, et cetera, because you're still you. You still want life. You still crave adventure. You might want to know yourself or try something new, but you are afraid. You're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of embarrassment. You're afraid of making mistakes. But it's called growing pains for a reason because when we shift and grow and become a better version of ourselves, sometimes it's kind of achy and embarrassing and we make mistakes. And so the what? So what? I make mistakes. I'm a typo queen. I don't know. My fingers cannot match. Um, how fast my mind goes and texting I'm just the worst and if you know me you love me and you know that and I don't apologize for it I just tell you when I meet you so let's talk about when you're still working in the paradigm of what you know and you know you're unhappy and then what are the reasons why you're not making changes you don't want to disappoint someone you don't want to embarrass yourself. You don't want to think that all those years of schooling and education and maybe even debt brought you to a place that is dissatisfaction. Perhaps you've been living your life to please other people. And that's really not living a life. Because if you're living like that, you know what I know? You're full of anxiety. You do things to run away, meaning you might hide in being busy helping other people, doing things for other people, taking on more roles and responsibilities for others, including your family. And you're doing that because you feel like it's your responsibility and your duty, but really you're doing it because you're hiding, you're hiding your exhaustion and you're afraid that you will lose something or they will be hurt. But you have to take into consideration if you're hurting. Here I am in day four at FinCon, and I'm in my hotel room. Um, why? Because I'm exhausted. 
I am an expressive introvert. So really I can do hits. I did all these hours of being around people and feeling their energy and having to lock down my energetic boundaries to protect myself. But you know what? On day four, I woke up today, I was shaking, like literally shaking. I'm on the verge of tears because I'm overwhelmed. So you know what I'm not doing? I'm not rushing downstairs. I'm not afraid of missing something because I, me, this body that belongs to me needs more care. Emotionally, right now, I need care. It's okay to take the time that you need to take care. What does care mean for you? Could it be sitting in a room and crying to just let it out? You know, you can do that. You can cry alone or in front of people. And if you're worried, if you have smaller children or kids at all, and if you're a mom like me, you know, when I get in a mood like this, I tell my daughter, you did nothing wrong. This is not your fault. Mommy's just sad today and I'll feel better soon. I just need a little time. And I love you. My love doesn't go away. And it's not your fault. I tell her that more than once because children want to usually help fix their parents. Have you done that? As an adult, are you doing that for your parents? Are you in a cycle? How can we stop that? I mean, I'm an intuitive healer, so we can do a session and I can lead you down a path. I also have a Real Not Perfect Academy, which is a step-by-step process to claim your voice, passion, and self-worth. I'm going to heal your heart so the pain from your past stops limiting your future. It's 100% possible. And then with all that energy that you're expending on anxiety, discomfort, or covering yourself up and pretending to be something that you're not, all that energy can go to living a life that you do want, that brings you joy and brings you happiness. I think happiness is an option in your life. Sometimes you have to work for it. Sometimes you have to choose it. So Let me know, what do you think? This is the contact I'm gonna be sharing now. Um, I'll give you some more information about my Real Not Perfect program next time um, in my next video. I hope you like and subscribe, but remember, be bold and be brave. And sometimes you don't have to be either. You can hide in your room and cry and that will get you to where you wanna be. But if you're stuck in the hiding, then you're not where you should be. And we should work together to get you to where you ought to be.